Hi, here a short tutorial on how to set keyframes with a Python tag. Let me show you what we'll do within this uh, tutorial. We'll define a keyframe and a an Python tag and some user data. The user data will tell us uh, to set a keyframe yes or no. And we'll set keyframes for this cube attribute for the segments X. So for example, let me change it. We go to a certain keyframe and we say set keyframe, yes. And then you see in frame 25 where the current playhead is, a keyframe has been set. Okay, so how to do this? Let's create a, key, a new scene, our cube, and of course then the Python tag. It also create already the user data add user data records it will be a boolean on or off we go to our expressive tag okay so what should we do think before we start first of all we have to get the user data and then of course our record uh, attribute. Next thing is to get the, the frame where we should create our keyframe. And then we have to set the keyframe. So first thing is, like we said, we have to get the keyframe Define a character uh, variable and get the user data. To get the user data, we need to know its ID. So again, once go to your user data, manage user data, and here you can see that the ID is one. So we have to get user data with ID number one. Print it. It's a good thing, I think, to do some little uh, debugging during programming. And of course we can uh, remove it later on. It will print to the console, so uh, let's show the console. Clear it. And let's see whether it works. Of course, of course, we have to do a compile first. And syntax. Okay, it's a typo. In line 10, print on off. That's that's wrong too. Okay, I see it here already. This one should be okay. Compile it again and try it out. And indeed. It's a zero or it's one. It's true or false. So the next thing we have to do is uh, get the time and get the frame. First, the time. And get time. When you define an, uh, a Python tag, you get first a link to the tag itself, that's the opprint, the op variable, and you get a link to the scene itself within the doc parameter. So this is time, and we can um, calculate the frame from the time. So current frame is current time get frame. and calculate the frames based on 25 frames per second. Let's check it out and print current time, okay, current frame, of course, yeah. Copy paste is always easier, no typos, and 
of course, add some commands to it. Get ready. Compile it once again and test it out. Current frame, one, two, three. So that looks okay. Except here on the console you can see that Python is at this moment in uh, current frame number nine. And within the timeline it's frame 11. That is because uh, at this moment the project setting is on 30 frames per second and we use 25 frames per second. So that should be uh, equal. So when you change this to 25, now we can try it again and indeed now you can see the current frame in Python is 11 and on the timeline itself it's also 11. Okay, looking good. Now we have to set the keyframe and to do so we have to get the object uh, for which to set the keyframe. So we have to get the active object. Object dot. document of course get active get active object and some commands to it and print it out whether to check if it's okay over yay Okay, compile it and see what it's all about. Oh, error. Get active, okay, it's a typo again. It should be a small capital. Compile and try that again. And as you can see, the active object is here, the cube. That's okay. Okay, going on. First of all, we have to check whether this active uh, object has an, um, a track, animated track for this parameter. So for this segment and this cube and this segment, check whether there is an active um, track, an animation track. So we have to find it first. A track is object. Dot find C track and then we need to find the C track from this attribute. Getting the name of this attribute is very simple. Just click it and drop it to the console and then you can see that the name is prime cube sub x. Copy paste it to find the correct track c 4 d dot and if there is no track then we have to create it yeah. create the track c 4 d again c track the obey c4d dot this one again create track object dot insert track sorted for the details on all these uh, parameters and functions, please have a look at uh, um, the Python documentation. I think it's beyond the scope of this tutorial to uh, declare or to explain all the various parameters. One thing uh, I forgot to do is we only want to create a frame 
or keyframe when um, on off or the records parameter is on. So we only have to set a keyframe if the on off is true. So if on off is true, then we have to do everything. Then we set the keyframe. And as you know, this Python is very uh, position uh, sensitive. That's real. And of course, another thing is um, when the uh, keyframe is set, you have to reset the on off. And that's done exactly the other way. So set the keyframe or set the user data to false. Okay, so the track is created and now we set the keyframe on that track. We get a curve is a track and get curve. Okay. And now finally we set the keyframe. We add a keyframe to the curve. Add key C4D at the specified uh, keyframe base time current frame and again using 25 frames per second fill the key doc J, comma key dict key. It looks all very complicated, but, uh, but when you have some experience and you read the documentation very well, it's all uh, relatively clear. Okay, so then we have um, set the keyframe, and now we need to as a last thing, update the screen, just to show the keyframe on the screen. So first thing we do is add an event. And then we update the screen. We do that by a call, simple call command. update the screen okay once again so if the user data is on if you want to record a keyframe that's done here we get the active object to see uh, where to set the keyframe we check whether there is already a track if not we create one and then we set the keyframe itself we update the screen and we set our um, user data and we reset our user data. So do a quick. Okay, let's see. There's probably uh, not enough here. I see. Let me show you. Another typo. This should be okay. Compile it again. Yeah, this also looks a bit strange indeed. Okay. Compile, no errors. Clear the console. Let's go to animation. Then we can see whether we have create keyframe. Uh, also show uh, this in the console. It's always easy. Okay, the cube, set keyframe, 
the uncurrent free leaving zone and do a record. Uh -huh. Another error, um, line 29, let's see, add key, yeah, you see, another typo, it should be a dot, of course. Compile, and indeed, a keyframe is be created for segment 6, you can see the value, key value is 1. Let's check that. Let's go to the cube. And for example, try and some, something else. Go to another keyframe. Go to user data and create another keyframe. And there you see the keyframe has been set. However, not with the correct value I see. Let's uh, double check that. Okay, yeah, okay, now you see. You have to go um, to another keyframe. 25, change the number of segments. Go to you and record. And there you see the key value is now 12. Okay, so it's working. Once again, let me show you uh, briefly. What you do is get user data, get the frame, uh, the current time, the current frame, where to set the keyframe, and there you set the keyframe if, of course, the user data is on. Get the active object, find the track. If there's no track, create the track, and then set the curve or set the keyframe and add keyframe and update the screen and reset your user data. Okay, I hope it was uh, clear to you. Please uh, again have a look at uh, the Python documentation, look for examples on the web and if you have any questions please let me know. Thank you very much.